Since the dawn of time, humans have been expressing themselves and communicating in many different styles. We have evolved for thousands upon thousands of years, and over that course of time, language has come a really long way. So much so that language itself does not even have to be present for an interaction to take place. And this is where symbolism comes into play. We see it in our day-to-day -day lives, whether it's a signal on the road for a driver to follow or a zodiac sign that determines who you can and cannot be friends with. If humans were unable to recognize and remember what symbolism was, our day-to-days would be a lot more complicated than they are now. Like, come on! Look at this handsome little fella, for example. Everyone knows what this guy represents. Anybody could see this and know exactly what he's about to sell to you. And look, they gave him a tiny little bagel in this one. That's so cute. Anyways, if there's one type of symbolism that stands out to me more than any other, it's our silly little hand gestures that we make. And that got me thinking, man, there sure are quite a lot of them. So me being the sane individual that I am, I'm gonna rank them all from S to F, with S being the very best of the best, and F being the worst of the worst. So with that being said, this is a thing that I'm doing. This is ha this is gonna do a thing. I'd say the first hand gesture that I would actually want to put is a handshake, and I'm putting it in C because it's a very middle of the road thing to do. I feel like nobody has terrible experiences with handshakes, but nobody has good experiences with handshakes. You kind of just get them out of the way in a sense. So here's the better alternative, the fist bump. Nobody has a bad experience with a fist bump unless someone goes for a handshake and you go for a fist bump and it, it all gets, it all gets bad. Fist bumps are used in a very informal environment. I use them with my friends. They're pretty timeless. It's uh, This doesn't need much of an explanation. Okay, next I'm gonna do the peace sign. Uh, I'm giving this one an A because it's really versatile and I think it looks really cool and I always do it every day. I skip no days for the peace sign. I, I utilize that. You use this if you want to like either leave a room or, or you wish good vibes to your peers. All right, it's, it's very nice to use. Next up, we have the closed fist, okay? So for this one specifically, I, I think it's it's very rebellious, it's very nice, but I don't see myself using it so much. Why? Because this has a lot of controversy surrounding it, you see? I'm also gonna put the salute in B tier. Salute's used for also more formal things, I'd say, especially in like the military. Uh, but I, I'm putting it in B because there's an emoji which I use like a lot and that's one of my favorite emojis So that's why this one is getting a B tier. Thumbs up I'm putting in the A tier because it's very similar to the peace sign Nobody has a bad experience with a thumbs up a thumbs down However, is very is very bad to be received I'll be like driving on the road and I'll cut someone off who deserved it And then they'll give me the thumbs down and then my entire day will be ruined so the thing about the middle finger is that it's either an S tier or an F tier, and I, there, it's not really anything in between. So I'm gonna just make a new roll titled middle finger. Okay, looking, looking good, looking very nice. Finger guns are an S tier. I don't care what anybody says, I use these more than any other hand gesture that exists. This is used in greetings, and what's even better is that before you use finger guns, you can put like a little... Like, you can put a little snap into it. You know, it's, it's so stylistic. Okay, the Shaka is gonna be a C tier. I'm convinced that only people in Florida and California know that this one exists. It's everything the peace sign is, but slightly worse, gonna be honest. Pointing is a D, because pointing is very rude. That's all I can say. Waving is also a C, because it's used for hellos and goodbyes and nothing else. And honestly, I would use one of these better alternatives if I were to wave at somebody. I'm giving the high five an A tier. I love when somebody initiates a high five, because then I get to high five them back and never leave them hanging. Okay, if you leave someone hanging, you automatically get demoted to a D tier. So don't let that happen. For the okay sign, I'm giving it a B. And the reason I'm doing that is because it'll never be an A after what happened in middle school when everyone would show these and if you looked, they'd they'd slap your neck like you were just some secondary life form. I ain't about that. Honestly, you can say what you want about heart hands, but they're just like I never see them i never use them they're just they're not prevalent in my life right now and i'm excluding them from the rest so you can fight me on that i guess you'd use this 
when you love somebody, but it's also tacky, so you have to be careful. Also, I like clapping, and I like when people clap for me. It's very fun to see if you can clap louder than the person next to you, and it's very funny when everyone else stops clapping and you keep doing it because you're just the funniest guy in the room. Um... Yep. Okay, that about sums up my hand gestures tier list. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want more speech presentations.